Good morning, everybody. Oh, I got in this habit of getting up early and while well, on the trip, and now it's time to get up at 6.30. Oh, yeah, yeah. I used to sleep till at least nine. <sighs> but uh, on the trip, I got in the habit of getting up early and going to bed a little bit earlier, and I kind of like that. Get you time to get some more stuff done in the day. Uh, just hard to get up moving sometimes. Yep, got a lot to do today. I have to uh, clean the van, finish cleaning the van up, um, do some laundry. First of all, have some darn coffee, uh, work on a video. And um, I think today we're going to talk a little bit about what worked well on the trip that I have as far as for stuff for the van, like, you know, my Blue Eddy, my generator. Um, we'll talk a little bit about that today. So let me get off here and have some coffee. <music> Top of the morning to you. Cheers to you. Here's some coffee. Um. Oh, man, that's good. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I was slow getting out of bed this but, morning. But uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about is the things I'm glad I got before the trip. Um. You know, I've been in my van since uh, July 2019, and I never used a fridge. I always used an ice chest, and I got to adding up the money I spent on ice. In the summer, I was buying ice every other day. You know, that does get spendy, and when you're budgeting, you know, it you don't really realize it till you write it down i i noticed basically and so trying to budget right before i got this fridge really checking out what i spent on ice this was a game changer um a lot less i had to do a lot less times i had to go to the store because every time you go to the store and you just get ice it don't happen usually you buy something else so saving money there um the apical fridge that i have uh you guys seen it in my video about it it's an uh, apical ac or apical c20 it's a very small fridge and i can i'm where i park in southern oregon i can stay plugged in so i just run it off that it works great uh like if i can run it with my generator if i'm in the daytime somewhere and it's okay to run your generator uh it works great the blue eddy runs it four days uh without charging the blue eddy so that is perfect um that is one thing i'm so glad i got uh, it was a game changer. The second thing is the Blue Eddy. The Blue Eddy AC50S is working out great. I have the panel with it. Um, I've, uh, it, like I said, it'll run the fridge four days. I can charge my phones with it or my iPad. I, have pr I didn't really charge my phones or iPad with it uh, except one time on this trip. And I kept the fridge plugged in when I was driving, you know, so that everything stayed cold. And at night, I would use the Blue Eddy to keep the fridge running. So glad I got it. And it will also run my CPAP for a few days. Uh, but uh, I didn't use my CPAP with that. I have a house battery. I have a 100 amp hour gel um, Renogy battery. Um, and it'll run my, gener or it'll run my CPAP uh, two nights without charging. But what I would do is when I was pulled over in the daytime, like when we pulled on the pullouts out the Oregon coast, I would start my generator up, charge my house battery, charge the Blue Eddy, and let the fridge run on the generator while all of that was charging. So <clears throat> it worked out perfect. So I would have to say the three things I'm so glad I had on this trip is the fridge, the Blue Eddy, and the generator. The generator is an AI power uh, 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 generator. It's a 2000 inverter a 2000 watt inverter with a 1600 running watts and it will run a portable air conditioner that's what i run my portable air conditioner on when it's really hot um so yes definitely worth the money so glad i bought it it was like 356 dollars on um amazon and that is a, a ai power generator uh the blue eddy uh in the fridge i got at the same time right before the trip so glad i got them another thing is i want to add to uh, on this trip i i things that to make the the traveling easier what i want to add is get my back deck done i want to put a metal plate down instead of wood um and bolt down uh, a tough box like those big toolboxes and put 
my generator in it like Matty Van Halen did. He put a hole in the side of it, sets his generator in there and he can lock it. That would eliminate me having stuff up front when I'm driving. I, I just want the room and it's not such a mess then. Um, <clears throat> and I can store a, a gas can in there for gas for the generator. Um, and probably could even store uh, a, a, my my tools up front in there. Uh, I'd have to see how big it actually is once I get it. But uh, definitely that is something I wanna do. The second thing I wanna do is go ahead and get, I wanna get 300 so, watts of solar on top. So 300 watts of panels and uh, my house battery, my Blue Eddy, um, having my Blue Eddy on my generator, I think I would be doing good, uh, not hurting for any type of uh, power. Um, so that's the plan on that. One thing I want to check into on the van or I want to look at more is, you know, how I told you guys going up mountains or hills that if it's not full, it cuts out a little bit, acts like it wants to run out of gas. Well, I flip on the electrical fuel pump, which is underneath um, the step on the driver's side between the tank and the manual fuel pump. And uh, if so, if I'm going up a mountain and I, I, it kind of cuts, I'll flip that on for just like five seconds and it stops. It, it's, it, it works fine. And that's what I did on the trip. I didn't have any problems other than that. And it really wasn't a problem, but I'm just wondering if that is a that has to be a design flaw in this i i don't know because the tank underneath is a 50 gallon tank i have two of them and the one on the driver's side <clears throat> the the line coming out of it going to the fuel pump is in the front so if you don't have a full tank of gas and you're going up an incline the gas is all at the back and so it's not getting it don't get to that uh now if it's full it don't do it but if it starts getting less than full, I flip that little, you know, if it starts getting that on a mountain, I'll flip that little electronic fuel pump on and it stops. So I'm just wondering if, is that a design flaw or did they not realize that when they designed it or what? I don't know, but it ran fine. Um, and there's an older motor home that's in the eighties that's parked in the same area I'm in. And they have the same thing, uh, two fuel pumps, the electrical, uh, fuel pump and the manual fuel pump. So I don't know if that's just how it was meant to be or what, but I know it bugs me. <laughs> I want to know why. I want to know why it does that, but it's running, it ran fine. I'm, I'm happy with it on the trip. Uh, my hair is a mess. Um, it, I, I'm so proud of the man that it did so good. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was uh, definitely something I want to look into more before I, I do another long trip. Jacob. Do you want to go outside? Are you wanting to go outside? Everybody else is outside. You want to go out? Jacob! Jacob! Do you want to go outside? I don't think he does. He's wanting to hang out with mom today, I think. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.